So if you've seen any of my gear videos previously, you know that this is the part where we do all the slow pans of the gear, sort of evocatively backlit by what is obviously a ring light, and we get our first sonic taste of whatever piece of gear I'm working on. But there's just one problem. I don't know what this is, or what it does. It doesn't have any markings on the front of it, it didn't come with a manual, you can't look it up online, and I've only plugged it in to see if the red light works for shots like this. Perhaps I should back up just a little bit. Or maybe a lot, like two decades. Time is a son of a bitch. This is Steve Gadlin. He and I went to college together and we were in an improv troupe together. And if that explains a lot of things about me, I won't take it personally. In the years since, my life and Steve's life drifted apart just a little bit as lives will. I moved to Nashville to play bass and Steve went on Shark Tank and successfully pitched a business where he draws cats for people. Which sounds kind of like something someone would shout out at an improv show. There's some life imitating art for you. Anyway, Steve got back in touch with me just a little while ago and he came up with this great idea. He had just finished making his first guitar effect pedal and he wanted me to check it out, but he came up with a challenge. He sent me a blank pedal with no markings, no explanation. I I don't even know what the pedal is called, and my task is to plug it in and see if I can figure out what it does. So before we do that, let's take a look at it. The Gadolin Mystery Pedal features a blue enclosure with four things on the front of it, and what I assume is a way for the signal to get into it and then get back out again once something happens to it. Up here is a knob, which very likely adjusts something, a toggle, which might also adjust something, but might also turn something else on or off or both. This switch looks like it was made to be used with a foot, and I'm gonna go ahead and say it turns the pedal on and off. I can confirm that the light up here turns on and off when you activate the foot switch. The back is really cool looking and I'm gonna be sad when I have to put Velcro on it. All right, let's see what it does. Okay, here we go. <laughs> uh -huh. There's our quint. <laughs> Uh-huh, good. Okay, so fart volume. Good. <laughs> this, this appears to be wetness, maybe. <laughs> uh-huh, there's our... Well, he, he did it, folks. Uh, my good friend Steve is going into the history books as the person who cracked the code on the fart pedal. So many have tried. Leo Fender, uh, other people have tried this and no one was able to get it there, but he solved it. Uh, he did actually include this, which says, step number two, open and reveal this amazing new guitar pedal, which is mine to keep. Let's see how we did these are the controls and so forth. The, the fart pedal. I nailed it. The toggle is, is between wet and dry, and the gold knob is output. Now, at last, the tale can be told. Thank you for coming with me on this journey. Thank you, Steve. I'm really glad I spent as much time on the bed track as I did for this pedal. This has been the Steve Gadlin fart pedal. And Amos, you've been amazing. Goodbye.